quickly again with another ROM review and uh, this time I've got a kind of a comeback to another ROM, a ROM which I reviewed previously. This is the Resurrection Remix version 5.3. So yeah, it has uh, gotten way mature from the version 5.2 point something which I reviewed earlier. And right now it is a really great ROM. I can't say it is the most feature rich ROM right now because if you see my previous uh, video of Blisspop ROM, that is kind of the most feature-rich reviews uh, ROMs, but this one does have a lot of other features which that doesn't. So yeah, it's kind of a different story there. Let's get into the ROM now. First of all, what you would see here is the lock screen, which is pretty awesome. You have the normal uh, lock screen for this, so it's not nothing special. Same, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, lock screen. There's the launcher, which all the features you might need, all of them, pretty cool. Now let's get into the settings menu. First of all, in the settings about phone page, I will show you guys what this is about. So you can see this is Resurrection Remix version 5.3.0, 5, uh, 5 which is the latest version right now. You can go to their website and see um, how this is, how this works and all of that. You can donate to them, etc, etc. Pretty neat, pretty awesome based on 5.0.2 which is the latest version of Android right now so yeah that is good based on cyanogen mode so this is based on cyanogen mode so keep in mind that all the bugs which you have with the latest version of cyanogen mode are going to be in here so yeah the SLNS status has been changed to permissive to uh, have a better compatibility and stuff like that so yeah it is there so just that what else do we have now? Now, Resurrection Remix has always been a really awesome ROM. It's been a feature-rich ROM. It does have a lot of features still in this one also. So, let's get into the features now. First of all, uh, most of these are similar to what you will find in any other um, Android 5.0 ROM. So, all of these are same. I'll just go into the Resurrection Tools where the most of the special features reside. First of all, is the interface features. In the interface, you have navigation bar options. You can enable navigation bar and you can have that working there. So that is pretty cool. Let's go back uh, into the status bar. In the status bar, you have brightness control, which I use a lot because you can control the brightness from the top. You don't need to go to the quick settings. So that's pretty cool. Show notification count. You have that. Show weather. The weather will be shown here if you like that. Yeah. Uh, super user indicator that's pretty cool you have a carrier label indicator which will show the carrier label here which just enable that or you can also have a uh, you can also select the color for your carrier if you like to see that in different color than the normal one so yeah that is there pretty cool you have a smart pull down quick pull down all of those goodies from various ROMs so that's pretty cool um, clock and date options which I really appreciate clock and date as you can see I have set it to my favorite one which is uh, center clock with small PM a small AM PM indicator and small um, day of the week indicator so yeah let's have a better look at that so that is there uh, it also has a few extra funds like resurrection fund which is an Ital italic fund I mean it is uh, slanted so yeah that is neat it does have that uh, or it also has sun serif which is kind of the uh, Samsung font, uh, font which is also yeah for those who like it it is available so battery status style you can e enable battery in all of these you can have circle or whatever you would like from that battery bar customization it does have battery bar it, it also has locations for each battery bar so network traffic indicator it also uh, you can also select if you want the network traffic to be indicated on the status bar so you can have that I uh, outgoing and going you can see that it ha you have to be connected to network to for this to work so I am right now connected if it's not connected it will just uh, go into hiding completely that is it in the status bar settings in the interface one let's go to the other ones uh, miscellaneous setting you can see you can actually change the animations it does have the AOKP animation stuff so yeah, you can do pretty much everything and uh, you can select how stuff fades or how it goes into animation. If it wants cascade, you, if you want cascade animation or if you want just a scrolling animation, everything can be controlled from here. It also has lift view animation with animation and interpolator. So yeah, go nuts with that. You have a lot of options there. Also toast animation, you can select that. Gesture animator, if you have seen any of my videos, I... I'm an absolute fan of Gesture Anywhere animation, uh, Gesture Anywhere, I just liked how this works, 
you can get to any app uh, anywhere with this one it is really cool I normally use camera everything which I need from this one so you can also select the location of this left or right edge um, gestures you can have add gestures whichever you want I normally use camera uh, gestures for C for camera done select that and um, click here and draw C from any screen doesn't really have to be from a particular screen or home screen or anything like that just click here uh, and uh, we'll get that draw gesture C and you will go to camera so that is really cool it does work out I think there is a new launcher which is blip launcher which actually does give you this option gesture anywhere option but this isn't same I mean it gives you an icon there which you can click so I don't really like that one this is pretty much invisible so yeah it also has app circle bar which works pretty neatly if you know what this is it also works right uh, but it's not as useful as the gesture anywhere but uh, yeah it does work out you can in, you can have what all apps are included here uh, in the change log it also says that you can select where this bar occurs but uh, I couldn't really find that I would have liked this on the left side because this does get in the way when you're typing a lot you also have clear uh, you also have a clear all button which is really neat uh, in the research recent panel um, here is a clear all button it is red uh, and it is the materialized button so that is really cool you also have a bunch of locations for the clear all button right now we have the bottom right uh, selected if you want anything else all of these are functional bottom center is functional if you like the like to have all the halves similar I don't know <laughs> it is selectable also this one I really like clear all tasks choose whether to dismiss all tasks or ignore the foreground task that is something which I really appreciate now if you click here and you uh, clear this one it will go to your home screen and everything here will be cleared out but if you untick this and you clear everything everything will be cleared but the settings which is the foreground task will remain so that is really really innovative I really like that because um, you don't really uh, you normally don't want to clear the foreground task you just want to clear whatever is in the background so that you can use your foreground task more effectively so yeah that is really great uh, in the lock screen option you do have shortcuts for lock screen so you can add shortcuts so these this may work for a lot this may be a lifesaver for a lot of people but I personally don't use this so I really can't comment a lot on this this long press that and we'll go to the shortcut so yeah that is pretty cool if you use this also you have clock widget settings you can actually have a clock this is the C clock from Cyanogen mod so you can use this I really couldn't uh, get this to work on the lock screen but you can use the widget which you can use so yeah pretty cool uh, it does work out neatly now the notification drawer you can have now these are the new settings with, from the Cyanogen mod stuff so that is really cool you can have uh, orders of the tiles right now these are the only tiles available I have actually added everything which is in here and the weird problem with Blisspop having uh, um, not being able to get back the tiles you deleted that's not here so yeah pretty neat and also the top two uh, kind of a arrangement can be disabled you can have three on the top uh, by using a enlarge first row so that you can have three or you can have the older style of a quick uh, quick setting so that is really neat also advanced location uh, quick setting is also available so if you click the location uh, one you will get the location settings in case you use the uh, this gesture for brightness control you can actually have this uh, brightness slider disabled so that it doesn't really use up a lot of spaces so yeah this can be disabled or if you use that one you can just disable the gesture stuff so yeah pretty neat a lot of people may you find use in that so yeah buttons also you have uh, you can enable left-handed mode but from my experience I couldn't really get it enabled uh, so yeah I'm not really sure about that this also has power menu toggle so you can enable uh, screenshot and stuff like that in the power menu but it doesn't really have a lot of options like screen recording it was not there in this well you have to install screen recording app also like screencast or something like that so hmm, you have options and call with power button uh, also wake up device with power with the center home button and so call with center home button long press action all of these are available even wake up device with back button that is also available so yeah I find that really quirky but yeah
it is there uh, wake up device with volume button has been always been there search button wake up device with search button because we don't have search button so that is disabled in the change logs you can see the change logs which is available in 5.3 you can have see theme engine is enabled so what does that mean now cyanogen mod has a very very good theme engine which is implemented in uh, their cyanogen mod 11 roms now it has been ported to cyanogen mod 12 so it does have its own theme engines like this one so you can actually choose a lot of themes this is kind of similar to what miui uses you can change boot animation you can change fund you can change system ui everything is changeable i have downloaded a few themes here like um, exilium ui it is pretty cool you can actually select what all you want you can also mix and match uh, it's not an issue uh, you can just apply it will apply the theme and this is kind of a darker uh, themed of uh, lollipop rom materialized theme so you can see everything is changed you can see all of these are fr changed from dark green to about gray or something like that so yeah that is working it is available and yeah I really like this one because uh, lollipop hasn't been a really themable kind of a ROMs lately but you have this one right now yeah pretty cool it also has performance settings you can actually select the performance uh, curve so yeah you can have power save or performance power save just actually uh, enables the power save feature now a lot of people may not know this so I'm just going to tell you guys this if the warning color normally when you start using power saver the warning color changes your status bar to red which is extremely jarring so if you don't want that just change the color to F00 well six zeros so that will make it transparent so just giving you guys a heads up about this so yeah i would like to have that or black is i guess black is the one which is there you can also search for the hex code for transparent and type in there so yeah that is there pretty cool transparent makes it everything is materialized it doesn't even change that right now it is black i'm not really sure about black right now but hey so yeah that is it in the extra settings now the other settings are more or less similar to any other rom which you would see you do have lcd density selector you can actually select 240 which is like the lowest one everything will be s small and also you can have a bigger dpi setting if you want to give this to your grandpa I don't know why you would select that but hey uh, it's there uh, you also have adaptive backlight you have wake on plug all of these it does work out sound and notification all of these are available in other ROMs also so I'm not going to get too much into that now there, there is a sp uh, specific restriction mimic bug right now uh, actually in the uh, language and input if you go there uh, uh, if you want to choose any keyboard it will give you your settings has stopped uh, FC so you r can't really um, choose any other keyboard I personally used uh, Swift key for most of my typing and yeah that is something of a bummer uh, but but it will be fixed in the next version probably so yeah that's really cool and yeah uh, lollipop keyboard is not the, it's not something which you can't use or anything but you can use that but people who have used swift key will not go back to any other keyboard so yeah so i guess how much is it in the settings menu what else does this have now i have all obviously uh, flashed my g apps because i wanted to install a few themes which is available from play store now cyanogen mod has their theme um, kind of a app for themes but it mostly comprises of a uh, paid themes and i really don't understand the meaning of paying for a theme so yeah, i'm using free themes so yeah let me show you guys the boot animation and again boot animation is not something which is going to stay you it will change with the theme so here is the resurrection remix boot animation which is you know it's same as it came into lollipop wall so yeah it hasn't seen any changes till now so yes, let me show you guys the Antutu benchmark score which well is important I guess so yeah uh, the Antutu benchmark score says it is about 26,028 which isn't much when considered with other lollipop ROMs but hey uh, benchmark score isn't the end all it's the user experience which counts and this is a very smooth and reliable rom if not anything else so yeah uh, out of the out of all the lollipop roms even though this is not the most feature rich rom right now 
I'm still going to use this one as my daily driver unless there is another ROM unless like Bliss, Bliss Pop has an official version for S3. So yeah, I guess that much is it about the ROM. It's a really good daily driver for now because Lollipop it hasn't had a very good daily driver rather than this one for a long time. And this and Temasek's ROM is about in the same line. So yeah, I guess that much is it about the ROM. Hope you guys like the video. Please share, subscribe and like the video if you found it useful. See you guys next time. Bye.